Hi everyone, welcome back to Cute Nerdy DIY. Today I'm going to be doing another squishy makeover. So today I'm turning this cat into Hello Kitty with a donut. So I got this squishy from a toy shop in the UK for £4.99, which I thought was quite expensive considering all the marks and all the weird kind of bad paintwork and bits of paint falling off and stuff like that like the eye isn't even in the right place so there's some misprinting and overall I don't really think it's worth £4.99 so to start the makeover I've gone and used my usual mixture of acrylic paint, PVA glue and shaving foam and I've done this in a white to try my best to cover up the cat now to start with, I didn't actually know that I was going to do Hello Kitty, it was something that I kind of decided as I went along and I didn't really know the best thing to do with the fish. But in the end I realised that I could make it into something like a little cake because the 3D was too much to actually get rid of it completely. So I went over that on both sides and I let that dry. As you can see it dried kind of a bit messy so I went over it with another coat. So here you can just see how much measurements of everything I used. And then basically all you need to do is paint it on. So for this squishy I used a lollipop stick because I really wanted to make sure that I got a thick coating into all the grooves and I basically did one side at a time, let it dry and then did the other side. So once that was dry it was a lot better, there were a couple of bits that weren't smooth, I don't really know what happened there, but the next part was to paint all the details on. So because Hello Kitty is white, I just basically left it on that layer. I could have done another layer but I didn't want to do too much. But the next step, I kind of decided I was going to give her a little kind of, I don't know, I think it's a probably a blue jumpsuit or something. But I used another, another mixture of paint for this and I basically just took my smaller paintbrush and started to paint around all the legs and the arms until it kind of looked a bit like a jumpsuit. So when that dried it was time to draw the donut. Now I really didn't want to mess this up, I think the colour turned out quite well. I kept in mind that the colours would dry darker so I made sure to make them a little bit lighter for when I painted them on. So the best thing you can do with this is to take your time so that you don't make any mistakes. But I think I changed my brush again here and used an even finer one that I had just to make sure that I could do the best details possible. So this was kind of a really fun one to do because I wasn't actually going off any picture, I was just kind of making it up and I thought I could change it into something like maybe some bread or a cake and in the end I decided to go for a donut because I thought that was probably the best shape from what I had to work with. So I left that bit to dry and whilst that was drying I decided to draw the bow on. So I kind of started this off quite small and then I made it bigger as I went along until it looked the right size. Also as you can see in the donut I drew a darker shade to show the hole. The next step was to draw the icing on the donut. I also drew a little yellow nose on and that was just using a tiny paintbrush and that was covering up the nose that was there before. So I decided to go with some pink strawberry icing for this because I wanted all the colours to be very bright and different and to kind of stand out and contrast. Once 
once again just make sure you take your time with all this type of thing because it is quite difficult if you make a mistake to get the paint off the white and you would have to go over that a couple of times if you wanted to kind of mend your mistakes so just take your time don't rush anything and it's actually quite relaxing when you're doing it So whilst that was drying I decided to draw the whiskers on, now I've done this using a permanent marker. I could have used paint but in this case I wanted to just make sure that I did it neat so I used the marker because it was easier. The next step was to draw the eyes on, now I usually do this last. But as I was waiting for the paint to dry on the icing, I decided to do this before I did the next step, just to get this out of the way. And I was also kind of excited just to see what everything looked like, so I got the face on as soon as I could. So the last step, as you can see, is to just do some little sprinkles. So I used some paint that I'd mixed together, and then I used the blue. Is it better than the Totoro one? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe, I, I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know yourselves. But I was so, so happy with this one and I really think it turned out really well. So after that, the most important thing is time to see how it squishes. And oh my gosh, I could not believe how squishy this became and how slow rising it was. Like it was so much more slow rising than it was before and so, so satisfying. So thank you again for watching, if you like what you see then you can subscribe or you can leave a comment in the comment section below and remember to like it if you like it and I will see you in the next video.